My name is David Kirkland Garner. I'm a composer and I live in uh, Durham, North Carolina right now. Um, I wrote this piece for Kronos called Lament for the Imagined, and it's, it's loosely based on ideas about the Scottish diaspora, um, specifically thinking about two places of, of um, Scottish immigration, Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia and, and my area in North Carolina in the U.S. And so David Harrington approached me with this idea of um, writing a piece that makes some connections across the Atlantic and, and some sort of commentary on this idea of Scottish diaspora. And, and um, because the, the Scottish culture and traditional music uh, is so widely practiced in, in uh, the United States and Canada, it's kind of an interesting phenomenon that uh, some of these traditional arts are carried on in, um, across, the, across the Atlantic in a way that's um, not done in, in other cultures and other areas. Uh, so the piece draws on some traditional folk songs. Um, it draws first on a pipe tune, bagpipe tune called a P-Rock which is the most, the oldest, most traditional um, form of, of piping. And so the, the beginning of the piece sort of starts with, with this, using this theme, um, and then it recurs throughout the piece. Um, also, I draw on some, some things from uh, Scottish traditional music. So Gaelic psalm singing is this practice uh, in, the, in Scotland. That is still practiced today. So it's this it's this sort of um, communal singing of a single line. So you have these beautiful um, these beautiful textures where a, a whole congregation is singing one single melody, but all in slightly different times. So you have this incredible shadowing sort of effect. And so I try to draw on that uh, and make some connections to the United States along the way. Um, another song, a folk song that I use is called Through the Wood Laddie, and it's a 18th century Scottish fiddle tune that's also used in um, Brooks' violin concerto, second violin concerto, so trying to make some, draw some connections to classical repertoire as, as well, it was kind of interesting to me. Um, so the piece, the piece tries to um, tries to make these connections across the Atlantic, draw these connections um, between Scottish, uh, Scottish heritage exi that exists in, in North America and Scotland itself, itself. But it was kind of an interesting project for me because I had never been to Scotland before. So I had been familiar with the sort of imagined Scotland that exists in, in the United States and in, in Cape Breton and throughout Canada. Um, but not exactly with the, the actual homeland, the motherland. Um, so this piece was, was also my way of sort of representing my imagined Scotland and, and creating a narrative within that.